So, just when I was like, oh yeah. You know, the challenging one was um, Board of Zoning Appeals. Mm. Yeah, so okay, I think we're oh, a little bit past due. Everybody yeah, ready to good. start? Yep. Okay, we'll go ahead and begin. Uh, good evening and welcome to the City Commission regular meeting for Tuesday, November 10th. I'd like to welcome everyone and also remind you to please silence or turn off your cell phones. And we'll go ahead and begin with the Pledge of Allegiance followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And to start off tonight, we'll begin with a proclamation that I'll go to the podium. Receiving this proclamation, we have Wendy Scheidt with our Main Street. Oh, very welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, whereas Small Business Saturday is a shop local campaign held on Saturday following Thanksgiving to encourage reinvestment in small businesses across the country. And whereas small businesses employ over 55% of America's workers either owning or working for a small business. And whereas 87% of consumers in the United States agree that small businesses are critical to the overall economic health of the United States. And whereas, according to research from firm Civic Economics, for every $100 spent at a local store, $68 stay within the community while online shopping generates little or no benefit for the local economy. And whereas advocacy groups as well as public and private organizations across the country have endorsed the Saturday after Thanksgiving as Small Business Saturday. And whereas the city of Leavenworth wishes to recognize the contributions that small businesses make to our community and local economy. Now, therefore, I, Lisa Weekly, Mayor of the City of Leavenworth, Kansas, do hereby proclaim November 28th as Small Business Saturday in the City of Leavenworth and hereby urge all citizens to shop at and support our local businesses. Wendy, there you go. And I know this is um, a big topic already on the news. <laughs> it appears Christmas Saturday is yeah, shopping is coming earlier and earlier. It is. Year. Like sure. Notes. Thank you. Um, just to encourage any small businesses out there to go to shopsmall.com. They can log on, register their business. They become a star on the map of the American Express um, site. And um, many of the downtown merchants will be planning special activities for Small Business Saturday. We hope that people realize it's not just Small Business Saturday that is a fun time to shop small business. So we will be posting those on our Facebook site, LeavenworthMainStreet.com. Can I say a couple other plugs? <laughs> our um, annual banquet is a week from this Thursday. Many of you are attending. It'll be a fun event at Luigi's that's now open. It's open to anyone in the community, so I urge community folks, people that'd like to know more about Main Street, to give us a call, 682-3924. We also have a um, um, ch walking chili cook-off coming up on November 21st, so they will go to a number of different downtown businesses. Um, you'll pay a small fee. You'll be able to taste and vote on the best chilies. There'll be everything from hot, medium, mild, sweet, artisan. So that's a fun event as well. And um, what day is chili cook off? November 21st. And we're also um, implementing. Um, you all passed a resolution for our. Alive After Five events that will kick off on December 3rd with a December wine walk. So that will be a fun event, first one we've structured. And so I believe it's from 
5 to 8 in the evening at many businesses. Again, check our Facebook page. It's always got lots of updated information. Thanks. A lot of good holiday fun. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Under old business, I'd like to consider the previous uh, meeting minutes. Any corrections or deletions or comments on those? Seeing none, are we ready for a motion on that? Madam no. Mayor, I move we um, accept the minutes of the October 27 and November 2, 2015 meetings. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the October 27th and November 2nd uh, meeting minutes. Uh, begin voting with uh, Commissioner Dedeke. Aye. 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 That passes five to zero. And welcome back, Commissioner Dedeke. We haven't been five to zero for a while here now. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And then we'll go ahead on to new business. And under citizens participation tonight, uh, I have a lady in our audience who I'd like to introduce you to. And she'd like to come up and uh, address the commission this evening. We have with us tonight Miss Kendall Trask, and she is Miss Kansas Princess. Miss mm. Kendall, welcome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kendall Trask, you Miss Kansas Princess. No, I just forgot. What are you getting ready to do, Kendall? I don't know. It's all right, honey. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Where are you from, Kendall? I'm from Buenavista. Okay. Would well, you want me to help? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll help. So tell us where you're from. I'm from Buenavista, Kansas. And tell us about your pretty crown, Kendall. Well, I know it's got jewels on it. Yeah. And how old are you, sweetheart? Seven. Oh, you're seven. You are so brave to come up here and talk to our city commission. Do you know we have grown-ups four times your age who are afraid to talk to our city commission? <laughs> um, no. Oh, yes. Look at that silly. Don't yes. you think that's funny? I think that's pretty funny. So what would you like to tell our city commission today? <laughs> okay, here I go. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm your... Hi, I'm Kendall Trash, you miss... I'm your Miss Kansas Princess. Well, thank you so much mm -hmm. for that, Kendall. Yeah. And, and we appreciate you taking the time. I had the opportunity. Kendall visited with me, and um, she wanted to share, like, some of her duties that she does. And she volunteers in the community, and she's very passionate about some uh, worthy causes, especially if they involve pets and animals. So oh, I wanted wonderful. to introduce you and that, and we wish her very well during her reign. It's not very often that we get royalty in these chambers. <laughs> so we're very, we're very happy to have you here, and thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Did your mom want to say something too? Um, yes. I love Kansas because it has all four seasons. In the spring, I like to pick flowers. In the summer, I catch bugs. In the fall, I cheer for flag football. In the winter, that's for snow skiing. Maybe I'll be in the Olympics one day. From Fort Leavenworth, I'm Kendall Trask. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, you can go ahead and give the mic back to Melissa, and she'll get us set up there again. Thank you again for coming out. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll go ahead and move on to general <laughs> items then, a little anticlimactic here and that. Uh, and we're going to review the mayor's appointments, uh, and I'll just go ahead and read those off the right page here. Right. I'd like to recommend the following appointments for the Active Transportation Committee. I'd like to appoint Steve Grant. That has no term limit on that. For Board of Zoning Appeals, I'd like to appoint Catherine Kemp to a term ending May 1st, 2018. 
for Community Corrections Advisory Board to reappoint Kay Anderson, Marcia Jacksons, and our own Chief Pat Kitchens to that board with terms expiring 10-16-2017. Leavenworth Preservation Commission to appoint Stephen J. Hansen to the unexpired term ending April 15th, 2017. And for our Parks and Rec Activity Advisory Board, I'd like to appoint David Davis to an unexpired term ending January 15th, 2017. Could I have a second? I second those. Thank you. I have a motion and a second to approve the mayor's appointments as presented. Uh, begin voting with uh, Commissioner Preisinger. Aye. 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 That passes five to zero. And let's, item number four is a cereal malt beverage license for Murphy USA. And Scott is. Yeah, Karen Logan, our city clerk, is going to handle this one. Thank you. Yes. Uh, this is the new uh, gas station out by Walmart at 10th and Eisenhower. Again, it's Murphy USA 7486. Uh, the safety uh, officer and the police chief have both reviewed the application and recommend approval. This would be to uh, sell 3-2 uh, liquor, beer, mm -hmm. um, off premises. Okay. When are they opening? They're trying to get open as soon as possible. The shelves are stocked. Uh, they're, as soon as everything's ready to go, they want to be open. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, they tried to do a walkthrough on the health permit the other day, and they didn't have enough items on the shelves yet. Uh, but they're really close. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, no other questions or comments? Are we ready for a motion on that? Madam Mayor, I move that we uh, approve the cereal malt beverage license for uh, uh, Murphy USA at 1050 Eisenhower. No second. I have a motion and a second to approve the cereal malt beverage license for Murphy USA number 7486 at 1050 Eisenhower. Begin voting with uh, Commissioner Dedeke. Aye. 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 That passes 5 to 0. <coughs> and on to item 5 for the general bond obligation general obligation bonds that backwards thank you is that going to be you again Karen yep yes this is the she's Karen, going to continue Karen Logan show tonight mm -hmm. yes we did open the bids today at 11 o'clock and I distributed a little uh, finance financing analysis and on page three of the uh, little booklet uh, we do have the bid results the company that uh, submitted the uh, best uh, interest cost is Central States Capital Markets LLC. Their interest cost was 2.785113%. Uh, and that is for uh, bonds, taxable general obligation bonds in the amount of $600,000. The other companies that did submit bids was UMB Bank, Commerce Bank, and Country Club Bank. So we had four bids. Uh, our financial advisors do recommend uh, the bid submitted by central states and there are three actions that are required should you agree with these bids. One is to accept the bid proposals as presented. Uh, the second would be the resolution to uh, actually issue the taxable general obligation bond series 2015B and then ordinance 7984 which would finalize the taxable general obligation bonds. Okay. Are there any questions? Can we roll all three things up in one motion? No, we it's need totally. We need Don't separate wish. motions on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have them listed separate. Uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I, our uh, bond attorney prefers separate motions on yes. these. Okay. Clear, concise, and very legal. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's begin with. Um, a proposals for general obligation bonds. Do I have a motion for that? And Mayor, I move we accept proposals for general obligation bond series 20, 2015-B. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve proposals for general obligation bond series 2015-B as <coughs> presented. Begin voting with Commissioner Preisinger. Aye. 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 That passes five to zero. Uh, B, Resolution B, 2122, General Obligation Bond Series 2015B. Do I have a motion for that? 
So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve resolution B2122 general obligation bond series 2015 B. Begin voting with Commissioner Dedeke. Aye. 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 That passes five to zero. And then for a roll call vote, uh, do I have an approval for ordinance number 7984 general obligation bond series 2015 B begin voting with Commissioner Pricinger. Aye. 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 That passes five to zero. Thank you. Okay. Under bids and contracts, uh, item six, we have a change order one to contract 2015-66, a demolition project at 2201 4th Street. Ms. Logan's going to take this one also. <clears throat> yes. If you recall, this is uh, Midland Wrecking had the bid to remove the structure at 4th and Marion. Mm -hmm. uh, they did get the structure down, but in the process of doing so, they discovered a cistern, uh, which uh, was underneath the building. And so you have to close that off uh, separately. You just can't cave everything in on top of the cistern. So um, in doing so, we needed to get, uh, we have an additional amount to handle that properly. And it was $2,050 to get that cistern closed off properly. So staff is recommending to increase or to approve the change order, which would increase that contract to $25,903. Do you have any questions? Maybe one for Mr. McDonald. What, what was the original purpose of that cistern? How old do you think it was or do you know? But it's it was probably 1900 or so, and it may have been for fire protection, but most likely it was just cranking water or water for an old well. Well, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that building was that building actually at 120 years no. old, 115 years old? Mm -mm. No, it wasn't that, that old. Yeah, there, yeah. there were cisterns in the greater downtown area that were constructed for fire protection, but they were out in the streets. And this was not, this was back on the property. Yeah. Okay. When Just I lived at 600 Osage, we have a cistern under, actually, there's two, but I've only seen one. And you know you can slide off the cap we have on it, and it's a metal. It was a metal plate there, and it's just basically a brick line, big brown. Yeah, you know, they are. Open hole. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, no. it's, and you just worst nightmare if somebody's <laughs> falling oh, yeah. there yeah. <laughs> on that. So, yeah. Okay. Are we ready for a motion on that? Madam Mayor, I move that we, rec uh, that we approve the change order number one to contract 2015-66 Midland Wrecking in the amount of 2050 for a new contract total not to exceed $25,903. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the change order one for contract 2015-66, a demolition project at 2201 South Force as presented. Begin voting with uh, Commissioner uh, Pricinger. Aye. 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 That passes 5-0. Uh, first consideration of ordinances, uh, number seven, the refuse rate increase. Ms. McDonald's going to handle this one. Yes, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Madam Mayor and Commission, this is a proposed rate increase that was reviewed with the Commission during the budget preparation for <coughs> budgets to take effect next year. This is a 3% increase in refuse rates, which will go into effect for bills mailed by the Waterworks in December of 2015. This raises the you know, monthly you know, refuse rate for residential customers by 51 cents. Okay, thank and you. And that's Mike. the first uh, raise we've had in nearly five years, is that correct? That's correct, sir. Mm -hmm. the, the last one was uh, passed in October of 2010. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions or comments? Uh, do I have consensus to go forward with this? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, that goes forward then. On the consent consent agenda, uh, could we have the claims? Madam Mayor, I move that we accept claims for October 24, 2015 through November 6, 2015 in the amount of 
$1,624,400.15. Net amount for pay number 22, effective October 30, 2015, in the amount of $300,155.17. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the claims as presented. Begin voting with uh, Commissioner Dedeke. Aye. 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 That passes 5-0. And under other items, I know we've got an executive session, but I, before we do that, I'd like to see if there's um, any other items by the commission. Uh, uh. Mark. I have, I have one thing. Someone brought to my attention that it was on social media that showed one of our police officers, I think, playing football with a bunch of kids somewhere in town. And uh, I didn't happen to see it, but it was pointed out to me, and I'll try to find it. But you know, I, whoever the police officer was, I'd like to surely commend him and Chief Kitchens and his staff, uh, the community type policing, or showing the police officers are. Well, obviously they're human beings, but I mean, the, you know, the, the kids like it, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think it was well received, and uh, so it was a great thing to do. Okay, I have something. Tomorrow is Veterans Day, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> our Veterans Day parade is the oldest, the oldest in the state. In the state, I know that, and one of the oldest in the country. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope everybody gets out tomorrow, and uh, if not, be thinking for and praying for our veterans. Okay, and and nice nicer weather than that's yes. predicted. It's, <laughs> it's always like a good turnout for that on that, so don't want people standing in the rain there. Okay, I have I have a couple items. Charles, do you have anything? Yep, I have a couple items. Um, the, I sit on the library board as the mayor, and the library has made a request for them. They just come to see us during budget time, and uh, they'd like to come like our other community partners do, like uh, Main Street, the school board, LCDC, and do a quarterly presentation, you know, so that we have a closer relationship and they get the opportunity to um, uh, share with the public a lot of the things that they do. So if it's sure. agreeable to you, I'd like to work their presentation, you know, in the first available quarter. Sure. Okay, thank you. I'm okay with that. And the other thing, uh, Commissioner Bixby, we were at a uh, breakfast this morning, and he approached me, and I wanted to bring this back to the commission. He's going to go back to his uh, county commissioners, and he'd like to start a discussion or a dialogue on a joint plan to increase tourism within the cities and the counties in Leavenworth. And uh, he was presenting me with some ideas for future thought, and I just wanted to bring that to you that there, you know, as we go along with it, that there may be more coming on that. Okay. Okay. And that's all that I have. Anybody else? Staff? No, ma'am. No, okay. All right. Then uh, we need an executive session still, Scott? How yeah. Much? Uh, we it's, need for, a it's for land acquisition. Uh, the uh, financial affairs of the second party, so we have not heard back from that second party. Okay. So we've got nothing to present. Okay. So we don't need it? We don't need that one. We need uh, the... Oh. Uh, How much time do you need? I'd say 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 Madam or 15? 15. 15, 15, 15, okay. <laughs> one five. One five. Okay. <laughs> Madam Mayor, I move that we go into the executive session for the purpose to discuss uh, land acquisition, return to this room at 740 by that clock, by that clock. Okay. Second. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait till the motion's done. Then. Okay. I have a motion and a second to go into executive session uh, for 15 minutes to discuss land acquisition. Uh, begin voting with uh, Commissioner Dedeke. Aye. 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 We're Aye. in executive <clears throat> session. Okay. We're back with no action, but ready for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to adjourn. Uh, begin voting with uh, Commissioner Dedeke. Aye. 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 We are adjourned.